nothing feels like working today. Like there's like nothing wants to work today. There it goes. Does that mean we'll have to restart this whole thing? Because it doesn't want to work today? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so nothing wants to want to work today. Genshin didn't want to work today. Uh, my phone doesn't want to work today. So we're stuck here. Recording the first part of the next chapter. I have to work today, I feel like gaming before I had to go to work, so. <sighs> yes, I'm in Desert Highlands because I was grinding out leveling. God, it's freaking cold right now. Oh, sweet, sweet loot. Anything good? Probably not. Where to go? Back home. Yes, I'm all the way up here. Now, here comes the first part of the level 60 storyline. Woot. I'm gonna try and keep this under three, these videos under an hour. That's why it's just turning into a part two scenario, a part one part two scenario, because well, I like recording for an hour. I also don't feel like uploading a lot. Agent, go find your partner Tybalt and then report for your briefing. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll let y'all read that for a little bit. Punch me in the So far. I read the report. The mission was a success. Real. There you are, Never Agent. Stop. Please follow me we to the bridge. We did all we could, and it was barely enough to save lives. We have a situation of critical importance. We've lost contact with Yang Aisen, one of our agents in Lion's Arch. I fear he's gone rogue and turned against us. If so, he could be taking a lot of secrets with him. The very heart of the Order is in jeopardy. I plan to send two of our best operatives to track Yang down. Was Yang aware of the Master's true identity? I don't think so, but it's possible. We had to trust Yang a great deal in order to move him into a prominent position in the city. Agent, it's time to promote you to Lightbringer, our highest class of operative. Congratulations. Too bad it comes on the heels of such trouble. We're relying on you to handle this situation. No trouble that Tybalt and I can't handle. If Yang Isens betrayed the Order, we'll see he never shares what he knows. Real. Brief the operatives, then return to Lion's Arch and continue in your guise as the Commodore's assistant. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. By your will, Preceptor. I think 
guys are wanting a max height here. Span on 24/7 or else this computer gonna crash in the middle of recording. I don't want that. The door was locked when I got here. Good thing I was raised Iron Legion. I'm pretty sure you're even the freaking Shadow Legion. Actually, I'm being locked. When you check the top floor, I'll head for the basement. Very wrong. Ison used to put on big gladiatorial contests with his beasts. I heard he even sponsored a few of the old Destiny's Edge bouts. This must be where Yang kept his monsters. He took really good care of them. Better than his employees, that's for sure. No sign of him, though. Would he abandon all these animals to starvation? No way. Like I said, Yang liked animals better than he liked people. He was always looking for new creatures to train. I wouldn't be surprised if he finally found something he couldn't tame. Very possible. Maybe something in the cages will give us a clue to what's happened to him.
Gang Ison. Wow, he's seen better days. He was killed recently. Be careful. Whatever it was, it might still be there. Over there. monster was from Orr. It can't be. Not here. Not in Lion's Arch. Calm down. Have you seen one of those before? <laughs> it's really rare. Some kind of special scout. I read about the only other sighting of one when I worked the file rooms. Lightbringer. That operative saw it in Fort Stalwart just before Zaitan's minions wiped out the town. Zaitan only sends them when he's about to send in his whole army. Lion's Arch is in danger. Tybalt, are you absolutely sure about this? Trust me. We need to warn the Lion Guard. Meet me at their fortress on Claw Island, and let's hope we're not too late. What's on Claw Island? The Claw Island Fortress stands in the harbor of Lion's Arch. It's the last defense against invasion from the sea. If Saitan's going to attack the city, its minions will have to fight their way past the fort. <laughs> The day you snitch is the day you die.
The creature we found hadn't been in Lion's Arch long. We may still have time. We have to find the Watch Commander and convince him to ready the defenses. I've researched the situation extensively. Thank you for meeting with us, Watch Commander Talon. We have grave news. One of Zaitan's minions breached the city. We destroyed it, but the creature was likely scouting for a much bigger force. An attack is imminent. A what? That's extremely unlikely. We've seen no sign of an impending attack. If there was to be one, we'd know of it. Tybalt left, Paul. It is you, my friend. I should have known your order would be aware of the danger. Cogs and gears. It's Traherne. We're lucky you're on the island. Convince this guy that we're serious. First, let me introduce you to my partner. One of the truest and most loyal friends I've ever had. Lightbringer, this is Traherne, one of the Silvari Firstborn. He is Tyria's foremost scholar on Zaitan and Or, and a friend of the Order. A fleet of dead ships has launched from the Straits of Devastation. The risen sail beneath a cloak of stealth. Whatever you've seen, it can't be a real threat. <coughs> Claw Island can withstand Is any assault. When you're you never Speak with my life. commanders, Brack and Mira. Once you review our defenses, you'll realize there's nothing to fear. A field agent at last. Congratulations, Tybalt. I know how much you wanted that. <laughs> Zipin Foro, fucking planets around me. <laughs> okay, Charmer's like 25 in this storyline right now. I said, like, current story is like, I want to say 30 something. There's a chill in the air. The Orions are planning a major attack against Claw Island. Tell the Watch Commander Talon that the gunnery emplacements are ready. The fortress here on Claw Island houses more 24-pounders than a ship of the line. We'll be ready to fight the Orients. Don't doubt that. Check on Deputy Mira. She's in charge of the beach patrol. Beach patrol. Don't understand. This won't be a sortie. It'll be a massacre. Once you can get to glitch again to where she follows me. Welcome to Beach Patrol, the most dangerous so duty sure on Claw on. Island. You must prepare your troops. If we fall, our last order is to light those three signal towers. We have to warn Lion's Arch if the fortress is lost. In a hundred years, they've never once been lit. We're very proud of that. Deputy Mira, sound the alarm. There are undead on the if beach. If an invasion's really coming. Be significant. It was a faint. They're testing your defenses. More will come, and soon. Makes sense. Report to Watch Commander Talon and tell the men to be ready. I have studied Orion creatures for 20 oh, I think years, I it. but I rarely engage in combat with them. All my I life. 
My wild hunt is to kill the man. Cool Even with all my uh, research, we still glitch in the storyline where um, Mira follows you all throughout the story so you don't have to go over the fight. Or... I'll show you just like a second. Yes. Oh, Chang It barely ruffled our feathers! Is that all they brought? There will be more, much more. Keep watching the sea. You're a scholar, not a general, firstborn. Why should we trust you? Oh, hostiles incoming! Magically revived her without touching. <laughs> I just show up and poof, she survived. Mira, how stand the beaches? All in, sir, and a lot of good soldiers with them. We have to light the watchtowers. Lion charts think we've lost? Uh, no, Mira. Not yet. Claw Islands would stood much worse. 
Get on a trebuchet! Dead ship in the harbor holds their reinforcements. Sink it! Oh, time for me to go suffer because I don't know how to. Jeez. over here. Commander Talon, hold on. You'll be all right. Quiet, Miracle. Soldiers don't need lives. Retreat to the city. Tell the Commodore. We did all we could. By your will, Commander. I swear to you, this isn't over. Mira, the island is overwhelmed. We have to evacuate the Lion Guard and ignite the watchtowers to warn the city. No. You'll never make it to the beacon with these risen monstrosities chasing you. We'll have to fight our way back. The Lion Guard will make a stand in the courtyard while you go for the tower. God's willing, the Risen will be too busy fighting us to stop you. Your bravery is commendable, Deputy Mira, but your soldiers cannot survive a protracted battle against this many undead. It's the duty of every Lion Guard to lay down our lives to protect our city. If that's what it takes, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll rally in the courtyard. You light the warning beacons. Now go! Everyone, fall back 
to the courtyard. Rally to me for one last stand.
dragon's servants will never let our ship sail. Base around the docks, they'll slaughter us. Saitan's forces will grow. Our soldiers are too injured to fight. They can barely walk. We can't form a defense and still get them all aboard. I haven't always lived bravely. I think... I think I'd like to die that way. What? Tybalt, what are you planning? After I lost my hand, I joined the Order of Whispers, because the Char thought I was useless. Nobody needs a shaky engineer. I said I wanted to fight the dragons, and I did. Then I spent six years as a researcher, never facing my fears. Never even trying. Nobody believed I had courage. Not even me. And then you came along. You trusted me then, my friend. I need you to trust me now. I can do this. Go! There's no time to argue. Just believe in me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna buy a freaking already have that die. I already have those dies. I'm gonna play Dover Street for so long because I have always been so much for you use of our reconstruction funds. After everything Lion's Arch has been through, I think a makeover is just what we need. Thank you. 
under we see what we get out of the chest. Uh, we're gonna uh, pop off this. Yeah. I have everything you need right here. Na, 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 na. I mean, I'm not complaining. That was a bullet for me. Uh, 60, 25. Yeah. I'll do that. And yeah, my friends, this is where we're gonna part ways because this has gone on for long enough. <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time.